Hello, I am Big Tuna. I'm a PvP healer that plays Ritz of Shaman, Holy Priest, Holy Paladin, and Mischiever. And today, we are looking at the new 20th anniversary Mischiever changes. If you want to see my coverage on the Paladin changes through the eyes of a Holy Paladin, you can click the card up in the right hand corner. But guys, let's get right into the video. So let's look at all this good stuff right here. New passive ability, Dome of Mist. And Belt of Mist now transforms 80% of its remaining periodic healing into a Dome of Mist when dispelled, absorbing damage and increasing healing resistance received by the monk by 30% for 8 seconds, learn at level 45. This is an honor talent, but now they are making a passive, but Big Tuna, um, didn't they make Envelope Mist, uh, undispellable? Like, you know, like, couple, couple days ago? Yeah, they went back on that very quickly. You see down here, Envelope Mist can now be dispelled. So, they made a change previously, where they made it so Envelope Mist could not be dispelled, which I thought was complete horse pucky, because, like, there's no other healer in the game that can't have their hots dispelled. And they have some form of dispel protection, meaning, yeah, they can still dispel it, but you will suffer some consequences if you are constantly purging them. Like, for example, Resto Druids, you'll get silenced and rooted. And then I think that's really about it. And <laughs> the miss being undispellable was just so, such a curveball. And it felt so good in Battlegrounds that Blizzard literally just went back on it a couple days later with this new 20th anniversary patch. So that's gone. Now we have Dome of Mist as a passive. Now, Ancient Teachings is now a baseline effect and transfers damage from Kraken Jade Lining, but now transfers 30% of the damage to healing. Yes, Ancient Teachings is now a passive effect. Now you're wondering, 30% seems low. What the heck? Is Fisher being dead? No, you bingus. Read the next talent. New talent. Jadefire Teachings. After casting Jadefire Stomp or Thunder Focus T, Ancient Teachings now transfers additional 140% damage to healing for 15 seconds. While Jadefire Teaching is active, your stamina is increased by 5%. So whenever you do pop uh, Jadefire Stomp or Thunder Focus T, you'll get back to this normal 175% uh, damage to healing conversion that normal Phalanx Stomp gives you currently. And yes, it is through Thunder Focus T, so I don't think it procs through um, Essence Font anymore, so that's kind of neat. It's Essence Font, I mean, no one wants to press that. No one wants to press that, all right? It's Garbanzo. New talent, Refreshment. Life Cocoon grants five stacks of Manatee and applies two stacks of Healing Elixir to its target. It sounds interesting, but I'm going to have to break it down for you guys. It is in the talent choice node between Common Coalescence, which, if you, which as we all know, is always going to be the best pick, no matter what talent they add in this. So... It had the potential to be kind of interesting. Five stacks of manatee, two stacks of healing elixir. I don't know about the healing elixir. Two is the target. I would assume it would just give them my healing elixir. It would just give them healing elixir. So if they drop below 40% HP, hell, they'll have the... They'll restore 20% of the maximum HP. So I, uh... I guess that's how it would work, but again, it is in the talent node of Common Coalescence, so it's not that great. New talent, Rushing Wind Kick. Kick up a powerful gust of wind, dealing nature damage, and 25-yard cone to enemies in front of you. Split evenly amongst them, damage is increased by 5% for each target hit, up to 30%. Grants Rushing Wind for 4 seconds, increasing Renewing Mist healing by 50%. Replaces Rising Sun Kick, choice node with Jade Fire Teachings, the one we just read about. This is interesting, um... It does decent damage. You can use it from range, so you don't have to be in someone's face and the, you know, cone effect hits people behind them. No, you can just use it whenever you want, wherever you are. And the healing of it from Renewing Mist, healing by 50% increase, is actually pretty nice. I mean, it makes Renewing Mist heal for a lot more, so that's, it's, it's all, I'm all for it. You know, you could be a Fist Reaver with this talent, you could be a Cast Reaver with this talent, and just have some bit of offense. I know Cast Reavers, again, it's much more boring to play because you really can't do anything offensive other than a nice good leg sweep. You can't really do anything offensive, so they are giving some cast reavers a bit more a bit more offensive play, which is really nice. And we will look more into that with the next talent coming up. Jade Empowerment. Casting Thunder Focus D increases your next Crackling Jade Lightning's damage by 1000% and causes it to chain to four additional enemies. Choice node between Dance of Chiji. Awesome. Amazing. For a cast reaver, awesome. I don't gotta be in your face to do damage. I can just sit back here, cast Crackling Jade Lightning that'll do a thousand percent more damage to four guys four girls four guys it's pretty awesome i don't know if this also is affected through thunder focus t the honor talent that makes it so the craft and j lining can bounce knock people away um i don't know if that this would also affect it because i mean if you were to knock four people at once that does sound really pretty gnarly but uh you know we'll have to see when 
uh, the patch releases, because I haven't tested it yet, actually. So, we see down here, Comic Coalescence has been redesigned, increases the absorb amount of Life, life Cocoon by 80%. Now, Comic Coalescence is naturally a buildup through Soothing Mist, so Soothing Mist, every time it ticks, 2% out of 100% increased Life Cocoon absorption effect. Now, they're making do with that, they're not just going to have it be an 80% absorb uh, increase. And this is pretty nice, uh, sometimes if you were half you had to use Cocoon early, um, and you wouldn't have any really significant coalescence stacks building up. It felt like crap, but now it's just basically going to be 80%. It's a very good number to settle on, so very happy with this. Cracking J Lightning damage now increased by 100%. Cracking J Lightning cast time, or channel, is now 25% uh, faster. Very, very nice. Again, they're adding, adding the whole thing of making Cracking J Lightning more impactful, which is what we've wanted. Everyone's been asking that Cracking J Lightning do more damage. All it really is for is just a knockoff for Thunder Focus D, which although is great, again, could have so much more potential. So, uh, Blackout Kick damage increased by 25%. This is, again, most or more so for uh, Fist Fevers. Again, you do more damage, you do more healing. Awakened Jade Fire now additionally causes Blackout Kick to strike two additional targets at 75% effectiveness, or 70% effectiveness. Uh, they may do with uh, Ancient Ancient Concordance, which was the um, Blackout Strike Two Additional Targets effect. Now they're just baking that into Jade Fire Stomp, which is uh, pretty nice. Danta Chiji's chance of trigger has been increased by 100% and has moved talent locations. Again, this is great for Fist Reavers. Um, now that Danta Chiji can proc more, again, 300% on your spinning crane kick is a lot of damage, a lot of AoE damage especially, so that's going to be very impactful for Mist Reavers, or for Fist Reavers, and now that I can proc more, it's just uh, all the more value. And then we have uh, some stuff down here, now the following talents have been removed, Nourishing Chi and Ancient Concordance, Nourishing Chi, Nourishing Chi was the talent that made it so uh, your periodic healing on targets with your Life Cocoon was increased, Again, no one, no one played that because it was in the talent node between Comic Coalescence, which now they're doing the same thing by removing that, adding this refreshment talent, also being in the same talent node as Comic Coalescence, which we're never going to play because Comic Coalescence is just that much better. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit unfortunate. But now let's go on to the PTR. So now we're on the PTR. Let's look at some stuff here. Let's actually look at Honor Talent first. They changed Zen, Zen Sphere. I didn't uh, talk about this uh, previously. Zen Sphere. The only thing they got changed about this was Sphere of Despair. Deals damage, nature damage, and target deals 3% less damage. Originally, this was 10% less damage to the monk himself, but now it's just 3% less damage overall, which is pretty nice. But now it does have a 6 second cooldown, so you can't just constantly spam Zen Sphere, Zen Hope. Um, on everyone else. It's just a six second cooldown now. So choose your targets wisely again We have refreshment and common coalescence here. It's just it just can't be played You need the you need the uh, extra absorb shield, but it is nice of talent I mean if I place on this guy right here, it will be absorbed and you see here He has my healing elixir so which will heal him for 50% of his maximum health if bought if brought below 80% So if I cocoon him at you know sub 80% HP he'll just instantly consume I guess those two healing elixirs and he'll be healed so it's it's nice working talent and then of course I get five stacks of mana tea. that's really nice and, you know it's definitely it's like a quality of life cocoon but you just need the absorb that's just uh, that's just how it is but maybe you know in PvP this will be nerfed by like a certain percentage to the point where it's like it's not really that great so who knows maybe we will play refreshment you know and we will see with the 20th anniversary event going live. But we come down here, we can see um, some other stuff here. We have Jade Empowerment and Dance of Chiji. Dance of Chiji used to be down here. But now it's up here with Jade Empowerment. Again, Casting Thunder Focus D increases the next Crackling Jade Lightning's damage by 1000% and causes it to chain to four additional enemies. Very awesome. We can look at it right now. Look how beautiful the spell is. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my god, look at it. It's in for 178k. Oh my god, it's balanced between all these guys. It looks so beautiful. It's amazing. Alright, very glad to see this again. I don't know if it works with Thunder Focus T. I don't know why this is like the same talent name as Thunder Focus T. Like, why just name it like something else? Like T of Thunder Focus? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know if this will work with the knockback of Thunder Focus T. Um, but we will see. I'm, I would assume it would be. I would assume it would work, but you know, who knows? Who knows? So we have Rushing Wind Kick and Jade Fire Teachings. Again, remember Ancient Teachings is now baseline, so 30% of the damage done gets converted to healing. And then if you are to take your Jade Fire Teachings, it will bring it back up to the 175% that it normally is currently in retail. But yes, we have this new talent, Rushing Wind Kick. Kicks up a powerful gust of mist, dealing about 200,000 damage in this nice little 25 yard cone. And it will increase the healing of my Renewing Mist by 50%. So if I place Renewing Mist on this, uh, on this little dragon right here, you see it's healing him for 19,000. If I'm to Rushing Wind Kick, 
it is now healing him for 29,000 per tick. So that's pretty nice, and this does last for about six seconds. So again, pretty nice, really interesting talent. I want to take it. Although, the whole brainstorming, I don't really know what to give up for it, because I need Unison or many proliferation, uh, proliferation, so maybe, you know, maybe I could just take it with this. I mean, other than this, I would have to take Jade Empowerment, but I don't know, we're still we're still undergoing some stuff. But yeah, it does feel like it can have some pretty big impact, whether you're a Fist Reaver or a Cast Reaver. Zen Focus T. Thunder Focus T provides immunity to silence and interrupt effects for 5 seconds, so naturally... Zen Focus T is an actual spell on its own, 25 second cooldown. You use it, grants you the immunity to all interrupting kick effects. Awesome. Now, it's just through Thunder Focus T. They are really beefing up Thunder Focus T, especially if you're a Master of Harmony. You get two charges of Thunder Focus T. That is amazing. If you want to go for a knock with Crackling Jade Lightning, they can't interrupt you. If you want to go for a healing through Soothing Mist, again, they can't interrupt you. It just feels awesome. So. I'm gonna pop right here, and you see, I get the immunity. That's that's just amazing, man. It saves up the global. Even though it's not on the global cooldown naturally in retail, it's still just nice. It's still just lovely to have it built into Thunder Focus T. Again, they're making Thunder Focus T have so much more power, and I love it. I believe that is all the stuff that has changed with Mystery Reaver. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and let me know what you guys think about these Mystery Reaver changes. You hate them, love them. Are you excited for Rushing Wind Kick? Are you excited for, you know, AUE, Crackling Jade Lightning? Leave it in the comments, but guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like rating down below, as well as check and subscribe my way. It does push me into the algorithm so I can reach more and more people. But of course, when we all come to our unfortunate ends, I hope to see you guys in the next life. Alright, peace.